Ruben Diaz. Ruben dos Santos Gato Alves Diaz, born May 14, 1997, is a Portuguese professional footballer who plays as a center back for Premier League club Manchester City and the Portugal national team. Considered one of the best defenders in the world, he is known for his defensive prowess, leadership, and aerial ability. Ruben Dias came through Benfica's Youth Academy. He began playing for Benfica B in 2015 and was promoted to the first team in 2017, and was named the Primera Liga's Young Player of the Year. The following season, Dias won the league title in the 2018-19 season with Benfica and later the Supertaka Candido de Oliveira during the 2019-20 season, while also being named in the Primera Liga's Team of the Year, making over 100 appearances in the process. He signed for Premier League club Manchester City in September 2020 for a reported fee of 68 million euros, becoming the second highest fee for a Portuguese player leaving the domestic league. Dias won the league title and EFL Cup in his first season, while also reaching the UEFA Champions League final. He was also named FWA Footballer of the Year, Manchester City Player of the Year, Premier League Player of the Season and the UEFA Champions League Defender of the Season in 2021. In 2022-23, he played a crucial role as City secured a first-ever continental treble. Dias is a former Portugal youth international, representing his country at under-16, under-17, under-19, under-20 and under-21 levels. He made his senior international debut in 2018, being chosen in Portugal's squads for the 2018 World Cup, 2019 UEFA Nations League Finals, UEFA Euro 2020 and 2022 World Cup. He won the 2019 tournament on home soil, while being named in the team of the tournament and man of the match in the final. Early Life Born and raised in Amadora, Dias has an older brother Ivan, who is also a professional football player, who nicknamed him Ruby. Growing up, his idols were John Terry, Nemanja Vidic, Rio Ferdinand, and Vincent Company, whom he looked to emulate, as he idolized playing in the Premier League. He would play football wherever he could on the streets or in his house with his brother Ivan. Club Career Benfica B Ruben Dias started his career at local club Estrella de Amadora after being brought to the club by a close family member. Dias initially played as a striker, before switching to defense, due to his team being losing by two goals during a match. He then moved to Benfica's Youth Academy in 2008, where he played initially as a midfielder, before changing position to central defense for the junior side until 2015. In the same year, on September 30th, he made his professional debut with Benfica B in a 2015-16 Liga Pro match against Chavez. On March 7, 2016, Roy Vitoria called 18-year-old Diaz for Benfica's UEFA Champions League round of 16 second leg tie against Zenit St. Petersburg after three of his four main centre-backs were unable to make the trip to Russia. The following season he helped the B team finish fourth, the club's highest ever position obtained in the second division. He also helped the junior team reach the final of the 2016-17 UEFA Youth League. Benfica On September 16, 2017, Dias debuted for the first team in a Primera Liga match against Boa Vista. After two months of impressive displays, including two games against Manchester United in the Champions League, he underwent surgery due to appendicitis, sidelining him for a month. He scored his first goal for Benfica in a Taka de Liga encounter, 2-2, against Vitoria de Setubal on 29 December 2017. On February 3, 2018, he scored his first goal in the Primera Liga against Rio Ave, 5-1. At the end of the season, he was voted Primera Liga's Best Young Player of the Year. After heavy speculation linking Diaz to a big money move to French side Lyon, he extended his contract with Benfica until 2023. On November 2, 2019, Diaz played his 100th game for the club and scored the opening goal against Rio Avenue in a 2-0 home victory. On September 26, 2020, 
Diaz scored the opening goal against Moirens in a 2-0 win. After the game, manager Jorge Jesus admitted that it was probably his last game for the club. Manchester City 2020-21, debut season and European final. Diaz signed for English Premier League club Manchester City on September 29, 2020 on a six-year contract, with an initial fee reported of 68 million euros, 61.64 million pounds, that could rise to 71.6 million euros with performance bonuses. Plus Nicolas Otamendi being sent to Benfica in part exchange for 15 million euros bringing the net cost of the transaction to 56.6 million euros, 51 million pounds. On October 3, 2020, Diaz made his league debut for City in a 1-1 away draw against Leeds United. Diaz was named the Manchester City Player of the Month for November 2020, following a series of very strong defensive performances. On February 27, 2021, Diaz scored his first goal for City in a 2-1 home league win over West Ham United. He was praised as being a key factor in Manchester City regaining the Premier League title that season by bringing composure, leadership and stability back to the defence. Diaz won the FWA Footballer of the Year for the 2020-21 season, who described him as a comfortable winner ahead of Harry Kane and Kevin De Bruyne and becoming the first defender to win the award since Steve Nicol in the 1988-89 season. He was also named Manchester City's Player of the Season and the Premier League Player of the Season. 2021-23, Consecutive Premier League Titles and Continental Treble. On September 15, 2021, Diaz captained Manchester City for the first time, providing an assist for Jack Grealish in a 6-3 home Champions League win against RB Leipzig. On December 1st, Diaz opened the scoring in Manchester City's 2-1 victory over Aston Villa, with his first goal from outside the box in his career. On March 4, 2022, Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola announced that Diaz had suffered an hamstring injury, his first injury in five years, leading him to miss two months of the season, which included the second Manchester Derby of the season. Manchester City's second leg of their Champions League round of 16 tie against Sporting CP and Portugal's qualification playoffs for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. 37. He made his return from injury on April 20, replacing Nathan Ake in the 46th minute in a 3-0 victory over Brighton and Hove Albion. On May 7, Diaz suffered another hamstring injury during a match against Newcastle United, sidelining him for the remainder of the season. Over the course of the 2022-23 campaign, Diaz started and completed almost every minute for Manchester City, playing a major part in their campaign, as City secured their first-ever Champions League trophy and complete a continental treble, following a 1-0 victory against Inter Milan in the Champions League final. International Career Youth Diaz represented the under-17 side at the 2014 UEFA European Under-17 Championship. Two years later, he captained the under-19 squad at the 2016 UEFA European Under-19 Championship. The following year, he captained the under-20 side at the 2017 U-20 World Cup, which lost to Uruguay 5-4 on penalties in the quarterfinals. On September 5, 2017, he made his debut for the under-21s in a 2019 UEFA European Under-21 Championship qualification match against Wales. Senior Diaz was called up to the senior side by Portugal manager Fernando Santos on March 15, 2018, ahead of international friendlies against Egypt and the Netherlands. However, four days later he was dropped from the squad after picking up right ankle sprain. On May 17, 2018, Diaz was named in Portugal's 23-man squad for the FIFA World Cup in Russia. Eleven days later, he made his international debut in a friendly against Tunisia. Despite being present at the World Cup, he did not feature in any of Portugal's four matches in the competition. Following the World Cup, 
Diaz began establishing himself in the central defense, overtaking José Font's place alongside Pepe, featuring in all of Portugal's 2018-19 UEFA Nations League matches, helping Portugal reach the 2019 UEFA Nations League final on home soil. On June 9, Portugal defeated the Netherlands 1-0 in the tournament's final, with Diaz being named man of the match. For his performances throughout the competition, he was named in the team of the tournament. On November 17, Diaz scored his first international goals during the 2020-21 UEFA Nations League, with a brace in a 3-2 victory against Croatia. He was selected in squad for UEFA Euro 2020. On June 19, 2021, he scored an own goal in the 35th minute in a 2-4 loss against Germany at Euro 2020. He appeared in all of Portugal's matches, being eventually eliminated at the round of 16, following a 1-0 loss to Belgium. In October 2022, he was named in Portugal's preliminary 55-man squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, before being included in the final 26-man squad for the tournament. He played almost every minute of their campaign, as they were knocked out of the tournament after losing 1-0 in the quarterfinals to Morocco. On September 11, 2023 in a UEFA Euro 2024 qualifier match against Luxembourg at home, Diaz earned his 50th cap, starting in Portugal's 9-0 victory, their biggest win in international history. Style of play Diaz is a physically strong, right-footed centre-back, who usually features on the left-hand side of central defence, due to being comfortable at passing the ball with both feet. He is able to pass in different directions, whether to a teammate on the same side as him, or switching it to the opposing side or making vertical line-breaking passes. Combining his two-footedness with a very good passing range, Diaz can dictate play in any direction from the back. Diaz's strength on the ball when shielding it away from forwards running down his channel. Diaz is very calm on the ball too and rarely finds himself in a heap of pressure. Diaz is extremely proficient at passing, especially in longer passes, as his passing quality and ability is able to help his team retain possession. Diaz is also dominant in the air, winning most of his aerial duels, as he looks to target his teammates and find them on a regular basis. Diaz also uses his size to help him contest well in tackles, as he is also great at bodying up on players to win the ball back. He has a good timing as he is able to anticipate a player's action or react for a last-ditch challenge. His Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola stated that Diaz is centre-back who leads the defensive line and in doing so helps others to make good decisions, the same happens in relation to midfielders. He is a player capable of living every moment of the game, always being focused on what he has to do and he makes his partner better. Jose Mourinho would praise Diaz as the best centre-back in world, for the Premier League, he's gaining another level of experience, knowledge. Former Manchester United defender Gary Neville stated that Diaz is the type of player who makes the whole team feel safe. Meanwhile, Former Liverpool defender Jamie Carragher would compare Diaz to legendary Barcelona defender Carlos Puyol, stating that the amount of interceptions during a UEFA Champions League match reminded him of legendary Premier League defender John Terry, while also praising his leadership skills. Personal life. Diaz dated Portuguese singer-songwriter April Ivy from 2018 until September 2021, 